Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Air Transa 236, the right engine has flamed out and we're down to just a few hundred kilograms of fuel left flying halfway across the Atlantic Ocean. The captain of an Airbus A330 carrying 293 passengers and 13 crew members declared a mayday. Just minutes after his call, the situation worsened when the left engine also flamed out, leading to all lights shutting off and the deployment of oxygen masks due to the loss of cabin pressurization. In complete darkness, and with the aircraft's electrical systems switched to emergency configuration, the pilots struggled to control the aircraft, working hard to keep it flying. Meanwhile, the crew quickly prepared the passengers for a potential emergency water landing, aware that their chances of survival were slim. This is the story of Air Transit Flight 236. Bus back all engines clear, start at will. On August 24, 2001, Air Transat Flight 236 was pushed back from the gate at Toronto Pearson Airport, Canada, with destination Lisbon Airport, Portugal. Route, route from Toronto to Lisbon crosses the Atlantic Ocean, starting in Canada. It travels over the Western Atlantic crossing towards the European mainland before reaching Lisbon. This flight typically takes about seven hours. Aircraft Information the aircraft designated for this flight was an Airbus A330 equipped with 362 passenger seats built in 1999. It had accumulated over 10,000 flying hours by the time of the incident. It was loaded with approximately 46.9 tons of fuel, 5.5 tons more than the minimum legal requirement. Pilots in the cockpit of the aircraft there were two pilots. The captain was 48-year-old Robert Peach, who had nearly 177,000 flying hours, with almost 800 of those on the Airbus A330. He was joined by the first officer, 28-year-old Dirk de Jagger, who had accumulated 4,800 flying hours, 386 of which were on this specific aircraft type, engine replacement, Four days before Air Transat Flight 236 took off, it underwent routine maintenance. During this checkup, the maintenance team discovered metal chips in the aircraft's oil filter, a sign of potential engine trouble. Unable to pinpoint the source of these chips, they decided to replace the engine. The engine being installed, loaned by Rolls-Royce, was in a pre-service bulletin configuration, while the